All right, uh, so this is a video on how to construct a Pareto chart. I not uh, I apologize for mispronouncing that, but it's Italian, so I'm a little rusty there. But anyway, um, this is used to represent frequency distributions of categorical data, or your qualitative rather than quantitative data. And here what I have are some examples of um, some uh, the population of federal prisoners and what they have done. So 12.6% of federal pri prison prisoners have uh, violent offenses. Um, property offenses are 8.5%. Drug offenses, 60.2%. And uh, on down the line here, and I'm going to slide this over just a little. And weapons offenses, 8.2%. Um, immigration offenses 4.9 and others 5.6. So how do we graph these? Well what you do is you set up um, a table. Uh, what I've done is went ahead and put in the um, put in the labels for each each bar basically um, in the bottom. And what we want to do is represent each of these in order from the most frequent to the least frequent. And I have them already ordered correctly. And so on the side here, this is going to be my frequency. And in this case, it's percent of population. You could be more specific. Percent population... Um, in a federal penitentiary and each one of these this is 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent 60 percent 70 percent so I apologize for how sloppy it is but you'll get the idea and then you just start labeling them. Well, we know drug offenses was 60.2%. Uh, 60 so we'll just go ahead and fill that up to 60.2% approximately. There's 60 and just a little bit more. And so there are the percent of your population with um, drug offenses. Then you have, uh, the next one is violent offenders. They were only 12.6 in a federal penitentiary. So uh, this is 20, so 12.6, you know, going to be right in here. Doesn't, you know, this is just approximately. And typically I'd fill these all in the same, so I didn't have any bias there. I mean, I'm sure... There's things like that we could do. Violent offenses, uh, we got those. Property offenses, there were 8.5% of those. So somewhere right in here, a little over half and less than 10. So that's it, around 8.5%. Um, the next one was weapons offenses. Weapons were 8.2%. So maybe just slightly below that but not much difference there then uh, immigration was whoops and I went out of order it's got to go in order with the with this type of chart so I'm gonna have to change the last two so other comes before immigration so other Immigration. Okay, so then I'll change. Um, other than is 5.6%, so just slightly above half. You know, my eights probably should have went just a little higher based on my half, and this one would be just a little lower. Um, 5.6% percent for other and then immigration is 4.9 percent so slightly less than half and the thing about this type of chart 
Pareto chart is that it's kind of like a frequency histogram in that all the bars are beside each other, connecting. Make sure that your bar widths are the same for each. Make sure your shading's the same. Notice I have my shading different for this one. That's probably bad. You know, I would obviously I'm just showing you how to do these. I'm not trying to present this in any uh, nice chart uh, to to a lot of people. Um, the other thing we need a title for this, and uh, this is uh, population of federal prisons. Prisons, according to their offense. So you always want to label. You always want a title on your graph. Be as descriptive as you can be. And that's that's that does it. That's all you have to do for a Pareto chart. It they're pretty easy and and really kind of nice because they show. They show you, you know, the nitty gritty, what, what you need to be looking at first. Drug offenses are obviously uh, completely just, uh, there's a whole bunch more people that are, in, that are in there for drug offenses than any of the others. And so, you know, lawmakers could go in and say, well, we need to have tougher drug laws or something like that. So, hope that helps. Good luck. And see you next time.